Welcome to Rescue Sim, the world's first online vehicle extrication training simulator. This video will walk you through a simple rescue, showing you how Rescue Sim provides a wide range of functionality. We shall start by selecting the car and the scenario. This will take us to the training page. Let's open the built-in tutorial. This will guide us through the basics of Rescue Sim. Your trainer will provide instructions here. He will guide you and let you know if you are doing things correctly, or are making mistakes, along with additional information to aid development. Your info pad will remind you of the scenario, and show you what you need to inspect before starting the rescue. A progress bar at the bottom will show you how far you are through the rescue. Your toolbox contains everything you need to perform the rescue. Use the left and right arrows to scroll through the tools and actions that are available to you. The dashes at the bottom are quick links to each toolkit. To use a tool or perform an action simply click on the item and drag it over to the car and click when you have positioned it in the correct location. You can also rotate equipment to simulate the correct approach or angle. You can select the view of the scene here, it includes a vehicle data sheet, left, right, top, front, rear, and an overview of all views. Let's start the rescue. A 360 assessment must be carried out to identify hazards and gather the information needed to formulate a plan and prioritize actions. The info pad shows the areas you need to inspect. These will turn green once completed. To identify the fuel type we need to change views to find the filler cap. We can now use the Speak to Casualty tool to identify how responsive they are. They are responsive and not trapped, they are okay but cannot get out because the doors are jammed shut. No other injuries apart from slight shock. You have fully inspected the site, now you can start the rescue. The first action is to cover the broken glass with a sharps protection sheet. We can then use the airbag cover to ensure the undeployed steering SRS is safe. We can now look at opening the door using a crowbar. We find the tool by scrolling through our toolkit. The door is now open and we have access to the casualty. Our final action is to help the casualty, we do this by finding the help casualty action in the toolkit. We have completed the rescue. You are now ready to explore some more complex scenarios. Thank you for watching. Go to www.rescue-sim.com to see all the scenarios available.